Hey, so thought I'd do a video for the extroverts out there that are going into meltdown from being in your house and not talking to anybody. Um, introverts, this is our life, you know, this is what we do all the time, like we're totally fine with this. So let me share with you some things that will keep you sane in this insane time. So first tip, um, and I, I've learned this because I have been working from home now for, this is my second week, and I haven't actually interacted face to face with a friend for 11 days. Um, and it did kind of affect me a little bit in the beginning because it was a disruption to my routine. But I've kind of figured out like what the problem was and, and how I've managed to kind of go back to normal. Um, so the first thing is actually get up and get ready as you would normally do to go to work or to start your day. Because what I did last week was thought, yeah, I don't have to go to work, I can work from home, I'm just gonna stay in bed in my pajamas and I'm just gonna, you know, lay it about all day. And that was great for about two days. And then I started to feel like a bit weird. And I was like, hmm, this isn't good. Like, you know, normally if I was to stay in on a Saturday or Sunday and not go out, which is a normal occurrence for me, um, I would still get up and get ready and do everything that I needed to do, which is why I enjoyed it so much. But now I was kind of like, I completely disrupted my routine. And what I did, which was really bad, was I started eating at weird times and I started sleeping at weird times. So for example, I was going to sleep at like five in the morning and then I was getting up at six in the evening. So I was literally backwards. And then I'd like get up like after only six hours sleep and then I'd be, it'd be all weird and anyway one day I end up sleeping like 20 hours and now I'm back to normal so I'm back I'm back in the normal in the normal routine of life uh, actually seeing daylight hours again so I would advise you not to disrupt your sleep because then for me what happened was I disrupt my eating and if I don't eat and I start to have quite low blood sugar and I start to have kind of symptoms of depression but it's literally because I haven't eaten so eat regularly sleep regularly what I would also suggest is to have like a to-do list of things that you want to get done, maybe like overall, like I kind of just have a forever to-do list, which means that on a day, if I can't think what to do, I'll look at my to-do list and maybe do one of those things and cross it off. And because I kind of do it in a non-stressful way and I kind of just like, oh, look, if I found myself free, I'll, I'll do something that's on the list. And the things that are on the list as well are not like massively to do things. They're like things like go for a run or meditate or, you know, things that I know that I need to keep me healthy. So I know that I need to run at least once a week to have good mental health. Um, I know that I need to meditate at least once a week in fact, I probably need to meditate at least two or three times a week, but I don't, but I know I need to. Um, so again, kind of like have them on your to-do list so that you, you almost schedule those in as you think about what you're doing with your day. Um, the days where you kind of just are aimless and you don't do anything. What I found from not doing stuff for a long time is that you can't remember what you've done during that day. Like everything merges in together. And when I think about last week and I think about what, what I actually did, like on some days I was super productive. Like on one day I cleaned my house from top to bottom because I was literally like going insane, like from not doing anything. So I, I did loads of stuff that needed doing. And I felt great afterwards. And it made me realize that as long as you're doing stuff and you're constantly um, productive in some kind of way, and it doesn't have to be productive in an achievement way. It could be just productive in a kind of, I've decided to meditate today. Um, you know, have something that, that you've got that you want to carry on doing. So like get some hobbies. You know, a lot of people have hobbies that are outdoors and they don't have any hobbies indoors. So in these situations, when you have to stay indoors, they don't know what to do with themselves. Um, for me personally, like some of the things that I do is is I read a lot, which obviously you can do indoors, um, and I write reviews and I do kind of video uh, reviews of books as well, and I write a lot and I, uh, what else do I do? Um, <laughs> maybe that's just it. <laughs> no, I'm sure there's other things. Like I have a craft box with loads of stuff in there that I could potentially do. Like there's, there's so many things that you could do at, at home that you probably don't give yourself the opportunity to do in everyday life. You know, if you think about like, how busy life is, like we barely get any time to do anything these days because we're constantly doing stuff all the time. But now the world has stopped. Like you could do whatever you fancy doing, like whenever you fancy doing it. Like obviously 
And this is very much dependent on, on if you haven't been impacted too badly by the situation at the minute, because obviously if you are not being paid for your work at home and you are not like healthy or you've got underlying health conditions or you've got family members that are unwell, then obviously this is a very different time for you. Um, so this is kind of just advice for people who don't need to be bothered about it. Like if you have an income and you know, you just have to stay in instead of socialising, then it's not that bad. Uh, you know, I live alone. I don't, I don't, I've literally not spoken to another human being on a level other than courtesies of hello, how are you doing? You know, for 11 days, like I've literally not had a conversation with anybody and I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Like it's not um, that much of a big deal. It's kind of how you perceive it. Like, you know, if you, if you think of yourself as being lonely and, you know, not speaking to people and stuff, then you make yourself feel worse. Like you're totally fine on your own. Like loneliness is a figment of your imagination. It's not a real thing. Like you don't, you know, there's lots of people that are alone all the time and they don't feel lonely. Like I don't feel lonely all the time. And I very rarely speak to people on a regular basis. So for me, I'm kind of used to it and I get that you won't be used to it, but it's just to kind of, um, you know, to help you recognise that it's not that bad. Um, and the other thing is as well, like, this, we've got technology these days you could literally like phone someone and have a conversation with them like face to face and it, yeah I know it's not the same I know it's not you know exactly the same as being in the same room with somebody but it's still pretty close I mean since this whole kind of thing has happened I've spoken to friends over there's a really good app called um house party and you can play games so it's not like you're having to like actually make conversation with the person <laughs> if you don't want to you can literally just play games with them and it's like it's like as if you you're hanging out with them so it, it's good in that way and obviously you can still just have like conversations over the phone or whatever with people but for me personally I've not really needed that I've not really felt like I've needed that and you know and I I'm not the type of person to text a lot anyway like I don't message people generally anyway um because it's just not me I don't like to be tied to my phone all the time like surprisingly as much as I post on social media I don't actually scroll through it that often um you know I I don't spend more than an hour a day on social media um so for me it's kind of I'm not really missing that much like yeah okay I'm I'm kind of um missing the routine of things and I'm missing kind of doing things but actually I'm quite enjoying being at home and not doing very much like obviously like I'm I'm still doing things like I said I've got my to-do list and that but I get time now like the amount of films that I've watched and tv series that I literally never get time to do because obviously I prioritize my time in different ways I read a lot and I watch a lot of kind of like motivational youtube um videos where people are talking about intellectual discussions and debates and things like that so don't tend to watch much like mainstream media but I'm enjoying just you know vegging out in front of mainstream media it's great um and I wouldn't necessarily you know put that into my week in normal circumstances um I am quite worried about going shopping for food um because you can't social distance in a supermarket you know all these people that are that are putting really nasty things on social media about people being idiots because they're in a supermarket. It's like, how else do you expect them to go and get some food? Like all the click and collects are booked up, all the home deliveries are booked up for like three months. There's no way of getting any food or anything. Like you've got to go to a supermarket. And if you get to the supermarket and there's loads of people there, you can't really social distance in a supermarket when it's that busy. Like it's impossible. So like, what's a person to do? So I'm really concerned about going, but I just thought I'd, I'd kind of address that because I've seen that and I'm just like can people not just be more compassionate to each other like people aren't idiots like they're not purposely trying to be close to each other like I'm sure they wouldn't want to be close to each other if they could possibly manage it um so yeah right I mean I, I don't know what I've got a list that I was going to talk about and I have actually talked about everything so I just kind of wanted to, to say like you know if you're feeling lonely there's lots of people that will have a conversation with you like just ring them like have a have a chat with them um you know you're not on your own and although you're in a room on your own it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world like there's plenty of things that you can do to occupy your time like this might be a really really good space for you to have a think about what you want out of life and if you are okay with your life as it is and if you um have things that you've always wanted to do that you've not been doing this might be a time to kind of put some action plan in place of how to get it so i would say that this is a really really good time to you know reflect and, and be with yourself and and like yourself more because i feel like a lot of extroverts like to socialize because they're trying to escape from their own their own self um and so this actually might be might be quite useful for you so stay safe 
Um, and if you need anything, just let me know.